Shade of black Pylons and poles Join wires Hanging slack Next morning comes You find me crying in your arms You say and I'm sorry And I never meant you harm Hold you tight And ask to be forgiven It's not really your fault, it's just the fault of these lies we've been living. Cheers. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Born and Bred at Electric Circus. We are now live on the internet, so hello to the people of YouTube. Um, I'm Carrie Bridges, and we're just going to play a couple more songs for you.
Roland Silito on the saxophone. Um, that song was called Darkest Days, and this next one is called Preservations.
of our memories hung them from a hook Higher than the rafters where no one ever looks We did the same with promises, with honey, not with salt And then things taste sweeter, no one sees the faults You and me are dead and gone But these preservations will live on very much. Um, this next song is called Shell. You must have silently crept On all of the tips of all of your toes You're not the world I used to know You're I'm a lot less sorry than I used to be As you crumble and crack With all of your quiet and all of my might And I scatter myself like to myself like Thank you very much. Thanks very much. We're Carrie Bridges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and a huge thank you to Carol Bridges there for an excellent set. Now, if you are having sound problems, just bear with us, we're trying to fix it. But nevertheless, we've had a great way to open Born and Bred with Seven Ahead from Electric Circus. And tonight's all about showcasing some of the great talent playing at the Electric Circus during the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. We've got three acts with us tonight and you can find out the full rundown of all the acts during the festival at electriccircus.biz. Now, 
We're readying the stage for our second act, the erratic sleeping pattern, and we'll grab them for a chat after they're set. But before that, we have Fine Creature with us, who'll be playing for us later tonight. We hope, yeah? Yeah, He's still up yeah that's right. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so guys, so firstly, can you just introduce yourselves and let us know a little bit about the band? So I'm Jed, play bass in the band. Um, I'm Gloria, uh, I'm the singer. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm Danny Van, I play guitar. Yeah. Um, yeah, we all met um, at Music College in the Grass Market. Um, and the band's been performing for about two years now. So are you all from Edinburgh? Well... <laughs> so I just looked at you yeah. like, oh, you're not... <laughs> no, I'm from Spain. I, I'm from Spain. I moved here like uh, five years ago. And yeah, I liked it on the state. So yeah, met these guys and been happy playing with them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a happy time then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how did you come up with the name then? Just a fine just, creature. Just really um, wonderful, really, I think. Yeah, I think it... Didn't have a name when we... It was actually at my flat. It was, yeah. yeah. Okay. I wanted but this to be called Dead Creature, but... It's a bit morbid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to listen to Dead Creature. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty random, yeah. Yeah. I like that, it's not quite like healthy creature, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's fine. like, yeah. it's all right, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys all get together then? I was, we all went to the same music college and uh, basically part of the course of playing covers, we got a lot bored of that, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. Write our own stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, we all yeah. started jamming together and then enjoyed it, so carried on. We've been through a few different members, but it's always been us through. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Stayed strong. Yeah. The, the, the core. Yeah. The creature <laughs> core. Yeah. <laughs> And you're all yeah. fine, right? You're not all fine. <laughs> we're, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we're, okay. we're, <laughs> we're not dead. You're yeah. okay, creature. <laughs> Definitely not dead. So, like you said, you started off kind of playing covers um, together, and then you went on to do all your own stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Can you talk us through a bit of the creative process that you go through? Is there like a particular one who is the creative one and say, I've written this? Perform it or is it pretty equal, cool, really? Yeah. In the band, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the way it works is usually we just start to jam and uh -huh. one comes up with a riff or whatever, yeah. and Gloria just grinds on the go. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah, I've got like, a sort of like back catalogue of lots of uh, lyrics and poems that I've written, but um, yeah, we usually just kind of jam together and then structure yeah. the jams from, like from that. So just sort of like bring it down from 15 minutes to. Seven, sort of so, in terms of writing your lyrics, do you kind of is that just an as and when stuff occurs to you? Do you go about with a um, notepad like Eminem and Eight Mile? Well, I, I always forget my notepad, so oh. yeah. or forget my pen. So if no, there's no one, you're always scribbling away. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and yeah, I usually just end up flicking through and then writing out new bits. And I don't know. Yeah. Guess the other it's handy thing is it's, it's it kind of really. the distant future, so you can just put it on your phone. Now, um. Yeah. Where can people find you? Not in a creepy uh -huh. address, stalker way, but on, <laughs> on for, for our friends on the internet, yeah. where can they find you online? Well, we made a Facebook literally yeah, two I days did. ago. Yeah. So, uh, you can find all our future projects and where we're going to be playing. Uh -huh. We've got some plans and records pretty in soon, August, like next month. Yeah, yeah, next month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so once we've got our recordings, we'll also be on SoundCloud and stuff, but right now Facebook. Yeah, right, so that's the only place. Facebook, well I managed to find it today, so it, it's good. if it's good I can do it, you can do it, it's not difficult. Now, I'm being told in my imaginary interviews that we are just about ready to go, but I believe you are playing here at the Electric Circus on the 18th of August, is that right? Yeah. So you guys definitely come check them out, check them out live tonight. And I believe we're ready to go to our next band, which is Erratic Sleeping Patterns on the stage, so enjoy that. Technique. 
I am one too. We're, we're missing the third one. He, he couldn't make it. He's we're missing our DJ, Textbook Tam. He's lost, He's in, lost in fourth dimension. The Agarth and Realm. But it's cool, we'll proceed without him. And For without gold. further notice. Oh. I think, yeah. So. Introducing Mr. Wibble Wobble, jelly legs, nipple coffin, baby head who's stepping up whatever's left. Sprinting to a messy death, living under heavy debt. Neck and sweat, from the foot, my dick and any sweaty skit. Represent, represent. Watch them pull their arms in the air like our tracks and a fresh and skit. Keep them peeled for that lemon zest. Attack taste buds and snap, wake up like we never slept. But work in a shite, nine to five for a life. Time to fly, a fine line to white. And hindsight is fine, but my time can fly. And I still stay ravenous for my slice of pie. So I swipe the mic, I've got already on five pints tonight But the style's tighter than an iron vice So I clamp up these whack box and samples some cyanide Shit's got me tripping like tangled up wires My rinse and addicted but don't take my advice Check the vital signs, check the minutes of Wednesdays, weeks, months, years and centuries are sliding by Confined to my bedroom, light in the next suit Life in a grimy little test tube, surprisingly well groomed And you might know Jacob, but trust me, you never ever met Sue Introducing Mr. Swigger, bottle of Lady Hecker Tripping full of any sex, second up on telly Flippin' on that lemon zest, thinking I'm not ready yet Lifting up my heavy neck to fall back to bed again ESP, ESP, never getting decent sleep Red enough at night with just a D of cheese Start to get to thinking, I could get the drinks in Then some asking never got to the club or my kitchen But fuck bumming about running my low stacks Never getting out of your house cause you got no, no cash Broke bank, no hope plan, no chance of a romance It's nice, I say no thanks, and scared for a no slack Stand so no smash, you the fact as I'm zoning Get back, broke his back, just a prat when he's blowing Back from collapses when I gouge in a moment Cause I grab and I ask the pass Gotta go, son. Failed effort, all good. On to the next one. I'm getting off of pills, but I'm already switched up. Shit's got me tripping and chewing the cup and sick of Joe. To and fro, running the zoo up in the stupid cold. Look at those back, out and mash with a man. Face. I'm taking hits fast like a smack from a family. That great, I'm impressive than the best. Yeah, you, you might know Joseph, but you've never ever met Ted. They should have put you in a glass door. Catch my breath after that one. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. You despise me, don't you? God, I love the Toy Story I gave you I probably would. Brown wouldn't piss on your gums if your teeth were on fire. Where I had it all figured out. After a night on my own, I thought I had it written down, but shit. Now it's likely I don't. As high as my hopes and height and in my sight with a sculpt to try and find the signs of life inside this silent abode. But I'm wizarded up and wanged out, living it up through putting the pen down. I stupidly sent round the look of a grudge by tuning a jet cloud. Move with a view from a penthouse, suit of the kush of the blue cheese and lambs now. Maneuvering through all the loops that were through with the loot that I took from your bed. Girl, like what was said then is said now. Speaking doesn't change the past. Weekend from the weekend when we rekindle flames that pass, staring back blank at the glass eyed reflections that hang tight and act like last night only lasted for seconds. Ceilings collapse with a no judge, wink, wink, feet turn to sand when that one touch sinks in, speech turn to pass, my knees turn to glass and she reaches a hand. The jig's up, is it just a figure of speech? And now your trick's done, finish like my drink as I leave. So fix up the minish and a vision of peace, so I lift cups and rift into an infinite sea. Like, woo! Normally someone says they drank a lot of vodka though. here, but it's not there. It's rum today. It's rum. Mixing it up. Coca-Cola for me then though. Like it goes like that. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. 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 I swear I had it all figured out What well, I was sat bench drinking And someone passed a split And I forgot what I was thinking Jumped to grab the mixer And the vodka from the kitchen Like fuck it Nothing, Nothing else, else is offered any, any inkling So it's thumbs up, chin chin Hush hush, hint hint Nudge nudge, wink wink Let the dregs of that bottle in your dumb luck sink in Cause it's a fine night for a quick fling Fine night supplies a time and I'm itching Scratch it, win win, instinct kicks in Lost in a moment, poised to play victim Jeez. Young vixen, herald in a promised land of milk and honey Mix it up with 2CI Wash it down with pills and bucky Silicon brain sitting with ligaments Made a silly potty Knock knock, who's there? Officer McGillicuddy 
Shit, time to depart. Split the final lessons and divide up the quarks and argue the fine line between science and art over a life soaked in white wine and snidey remarks. Send my finest regards to slime pigs when you find them alive and kick it as we lie in the dark to watch them ignite, bind them, bomb, bind me stars that glisten like their cherry tips of intertwined and cigar. That's a mouthful. Make some noise for one, two. Woo! Hope you're all having a great time. Where are the chicks? And why are you clipping my eyes open? Look, just watch the screen, okay? All right. Porno! Woo! I love the porno. Woo! Oh. Yeah. Cut your shadow loose, the damn thing is entangled Using opened up a dialogue with the demons you're shackled to Lost in some mangroves, circling the black lagoon Dirty little face full of mangoes and passion fruits Scaramouche, scaramouche, I do the fandango Dust off the old dancing shoes and swagger through Dripping with it from the valley to the pantaloons Dragon tooth plectrum, string a sucker for a sack of loot Cut your shadow loose, deploy it as a parachute Cushion in your landing on descent from higher altitudes The cabin crews sit like caterpillars in their damp cocoons Curse to lead the bug's life and fuck like praying mantis do Yabba dabba do, crack a can and strap a suit Cat in boots, pussy got your tongue playing daddy smooth Absolutes lost amidst the wreckage of your afternoon Naked drinking absolute vodka like a sapple juice Trust me. Cut your shadow loose just cut your shadow loose. <laughs> I just have to dance and look pretty. Just go right. Cut your, cut your, cut your shadow loose. <laughs> yeah. Cut your shadow loose, raving like some mad baboons Gathered round a sacrificial totem as the dance resumes Shit, that's my cue, everybody grab a pew and settle in Let's tell some stories haunted by the Babadook We in the lab refining fire like it's arrowroot Whose feather brain rappers keep squawking in a parrot coop That's a free meal, watch how the falcon swoop Hungry for some fresh meat and chunks of raw fat to chew So cut your shadow loose, then run and fetch a pack of glue And swiftly reattach it to the edges of your scramble suit The vandal proof ego clean and squeaky with the tags removed Can he prove you're free from the identity you're anchored to? You mean this old thing? Nah, it's just a boomerang I threw Caught in flawless orbit, running rings around Saturn's moons Trust the spectres in your sleep will not abandon you Good luck trying to shut them up after a schwant or two. Woo! Oh, just cut your shadow loose. Woo! Once again. Woo! Once again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think we've got... Have we got one more there? Have we got one more? Yeah, we got I think it's about one more. more. I think it's about to come to an end anyway. This is what happens when your DJ gets sick. You're just standing about. You're left waiting. to dance on a stage. Woo! Ah, just cut your shadow loose. Scoop, 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 scoop. I genuinely don't know how to fast forward it. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just write that out. Sorry. There you go. Smell the black rose with their champagnes. Yeah! Oh my god! For the Don't record, most of these beats are provided by One Sue as well. Because it has no time. Aye, <laughs> right, I wish I had no time. We don't really need any time. is a luxury if you can afford. Another cold night inside, getting restless after half a smoke. Plans of getting legless, step to exits as I grab my coat. Hit the bank and bolt to find the bar to get baby Damn, we don't look very far because it's raining and the weather's grim. Except that it's a dive. Take a seat, then get settled in. A single around the whole please, because it won't do when he trebles, kid. Lips around the rim as he finishes quick. Reaching for pockets of pay as the drinks were given to him as a little gift from the girl that is walking away. Washed on, got caught in a daze as a hot non blonde rocks onto the stage. Lost thoughts of a wandering. 
and brain I'm not just constantly wanting a name like shit Who's the girl up there that put the pennies in the pot Hitting heavily at ecstasy through the melodies of song No answer from the barkeep, no answer from the mob So I just have to wait till after to just ask her from the off Instead of thinking up some shit to say like mm, You know what's clever ass they filling up with drinks like Beaumont measures So hold on fella, the gimmick you bring isn't quite what it takes Shrek on the brakes to say for a minute what might be the right thing to say Hiding away from the sight of the same With a pint in my right and a smile on my face Fine night, try and write your mistakes In the side of your life that you try to erase Find pride in the sign of a gaze A lifeline in a time and a place A highlight with a vibe at your waist And a vice in your life that you'd like to escape But you don't, don't know. know You stay pitied cause she's larger than, than life A harlequin that's hardly fitting with a dark and vibe Ooh, black rose, the black pepper Smell the black rose, kiss the black pepper Smell the black rose Kiss the black petal I went down the bed of roses and woke up on nettles Smell the black rose Kiss, Kiss the, the black petal Smell the black rose Kiss the black petal Smell the black rose You ain't that special I went to sleep on a bed of roses Woke up on nettles Cause I should've never slipped when she caught your attention Should've put a lid on Pandora's intentions Should've known that bitch was nothing more than a spectrum of badly malfunctioning forms of affection Flawed in perfection Bangled in a slim dress Many drunken sailors tried abandoning the shipwrecks For a saucy little rendezvous Tangled in those fishnets Too sorcery to clock the truth They've actually been misled And dragged to grim depths For figuring it out So the plankton and the squid Can get their dinner on the house Cheeky nipple in the mouth Getting fisted on the couch Taking hearts towards the ripples As she rips a little out And who's sitting with Medusa Getting stoned out It's all too easy to seduce her In a smoke cloud So why hold out hopes you won't bounce for a new pearl necklace and a superficial gold crown. Dear Delilah's getting busy in the barber shop, playing Sweeney Todd. And once you've started off, it's hard to stop. Basically, you bartered lost and sacrificed those charming locks or gambling a fantasy still stacked against alarming odds. So, what's that nut you bust to the slut you fuck? And what's a lover's touch to an uppercut? Puck her off or go and find yourself another thumb to suck. Easy, it's done and dusted. <laughs> Kiss the black pepper, smell the black pepper. Oh, scoop, scoop, scoop. scoop. Oh, ESP. Thank you all very much. You Large up to everyone, everyone playing. Yeah. We're gonna go regroup. We're gonna go regroup. regroup. Watch this. Woo. What a fade. Yes. Yes. Deep mixing. All right. Well, thanks very much to Erratic Sleep Patterns. I'm now here with our opening act of the night, Carol Bridges. So welcome. Say hello to the hello. internet. Hello. Hey. Hello, internet. So um, just quickly, just to start off, if you can just let us know a bit about your band and I believe there's more to it, possibly a river. Yes, indeed. So uh, I'm Carol Bridges, I have a band called The River. So normally there are six of us in total. Uh, I have a double bass player, a mandolinist, a cajon player, a you saw the saxophone player, and also another vocalist with ukulele as well. Um, so there's quite a few of us, but we can kind of play in any iteration really. So this evening we decided to do a bit of slim down. We take many forms. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. So absolutely brilliant set out there. Did you enjoy it? How did you find it? Yeah, it was great. It was yeah, it was really nice. Um, we had a good time. We recently brought out an EP. Um, so it was good to be able to play some of those songs yeah, some people who maybe hadn't heard them before, so it was good. So, originally, you're from mm -hmm. Norwich, I oh, believe, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So what brought you to Edinburgh? Um, well, basically, a lot of people from Norwich end up moving to London, and I kind of wanted to move to a city that was still really well connected, but also 
um, not London. <laughs> so um, actually my best friend already lived here, so I'd been to the city a few times and there was a master's course at the uni that I wanted to do. So I ended up moving to Edinburgh and that's kind of where the band was born really. So that's, um, we're kind of very much an Edinburgh based and Edinburgh formed band. Made in Edinburgh. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> So how easy was it to get into the scene, so to speak, once you got up here? Once I got up here, um, for maybe a year I didn't do that much, but then I started going to open mics, and the open mic scene in Edinburgh was really good. So basically, there was Maddie, who's in my band, we were already friends from when we were 10, we were both from Norwich, but the rest of my band I just met at an open mic um, in town, and yeah, so we kind of met there. And been together for about five years now. Maybe. Oh, congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> this is almost like an anniversary. <laughs> so when you were kind of coming up with the sound for the band, how did that happen? Was it a case of I want, you know, a saxophone, I want a mandolin, or was it more a case of here's what I have? <laughs> yeah, I'm it's, make a bit, it's been a bit more organic than that. It's been quite a journey. So my background was more in jazz, uh, so I actually played jazz guitar for most of my teens and also sang in quite a few choirs. I only really started writing songs from my early 20s and kind of those had that background. Obviously I met Roland who played sax and thought, wow, that's really cool, yeah. that's kind of perfect and was kind of into the folk genre, I would say like contemporary folk, kind of Laura Marley and all of that, like Mumford and Sons, all of that sort of yeah. group. And then the rest of my band, uh, Matt, who plays mandolin for me, and Tom, who plays double bass, have both been in a youth orchestra and they played in Katie bands, so we had a bit of a folk influence from that and just kind of formed that way, really. It's been quite organic. All right, cool. so are you planning on developing it more? Bringing on seven trumpets? Or <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not quite to that extent. <laughs> I mean, with this um, setup, at the moment, like I said, we're in this kind of quite comfortable place of being able to play in any iteration, which is great. But also, I mean, there are other things that I do as well. So I also run a choir, um, which is great fun to work with. Um, that's a folk choir. So we actually focus on working with local songwriters and kind of bringing their songs to life. Um, castle Chorus, check those out. Um, and so I've kind of got other things going on as well. Um, I also play in a band called The Last Battle as well. Oh. So, there's quite a few things going on. And with the river, I think we'll kind of stay in that jazz folk kind yeah. of vein, uh, but maybe do a bit more singing stuff. Oh, nice. Now, you did drop the F bomb, folk. Mm, I did. Um, which <laughs> kind of brings me to this question where um, that's very much seen as a, a very traditional sort of type of music, mm. in a sense. Yes. Um, and how do you feel that kind of works as a folk? A musician, what are your thoughts on the kind of digital age of music that we live in just now, sort of streaming shows, yeah. uh, do you know, the yeah. kind of online <laughs> payment. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. in you come guys, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. I'll see you over there, I'll be with you soon. <laughs> just having the party crash, yeah. that's fine. So yeah, so, so, yeah, so yeah, just to recap, kind of the full music, how do you feel about the digital age of music and streaming shows and yeah. Spotify? And I mean, basically, I would say as much as I'm a folk musician, I see folk as kind of a very living genre that develops all the time. And really, it's kind of the job of folk music to tell the stories of the time and the people of the time. And so I don't really think we have to be limited by these kind of boundaries necessarily. So like, um, despite the fact that, yeah, with my band, we generally use acoustic instruments, I wouldn't limit that. Like I'm not shutting off the idea that we might introduce some other elements. Um, and definitely when it comes to like digitization, the internet, things are a really useful tool for sharing music, for musicians to contact each other. Um, I think maybe economically we could like catch up a little bit. <laughs> um, but like culturally, I think it's definitely folks should be embracing that with yeah, Well, I think give Taylor Swift another two years, yeah. she'll sort out everyone's money. <laughs> so, I trust her. <laughs> <laughs> we trust you, Taylor Swift. Don't abuse yeah. that. Um, but we are speaking of the digital age, where can people find you online? Yeah, on the internet, uh, look up Carrie Bridges on Facebook. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, we have a band camp where you can buy uh, two EPs. Um, also SoundCloud, you can listen to our music for free and also we're on Spotify. Um, so yeah, we're kind of 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
and inflict, and inflict being, on other people around us. It's generally just being a wizard. <laughs> I'm like really happy that you guys have found each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would take it. <laughs> but try, this wasn't the first attempt. We both oh. were rejected many times from different societies. It's a bit of rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here now though. You're uh -huh. together happy, now. Happy for you. On the yellow brick road. Yeah. yeah. See, the wizard want to go to the boss. <laughs> So, looking at the kind of live performance aspect, you obviously you lose, use a lot of samples, pulling a lot of sounds. Yeah. So how does that process work for you guys? Do you just hear something go, totally using that, or is there kind of more of a yeah, process? Yeah, but it's quite a, yeah, a yeah, you, time, yeah. yeah, most of the time it's just you sort of go about your daily business and, you know, stick into the, what you would normally do. So watching outrageously offbeat comedies and things, and eventually something clicks. Even like watching television, you know, you'll catch an advert and you like, boom, I'm having that. Okay, I can do horrible things to that sound. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, totally tiny tiny little <laughs> noises. I get him messaging me a lot of the time, sending me like old jazz songs that he's found uh, somewhere uh, in the depths of the, the dark crevices of the internet. Yeah. He's just like, make this in a really <laughs> nice beat for me. Just, just crunch it up. Software illiterate that I am, I have to make I, I force him to make my beats for me. Yeah, and I force Sean to make my yeah, beats. Exactly. So it's, it's, a, it's a vicious it's a yeah, chain, yeah. not more of a chain than it's, a cycle. It is quite a chain, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's fun though. Everyone gets their own little dollop of input. Yeah, so I get nice a slice of life from everyone. <laughs> yeah. So how important or effective do you feel that kind of um, your genre is for getting across issues, kind of messages, whether that's political, social, or just personal, or zen zen, just whatever, <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, well, 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 you know, zen means a lot, so let's not over. Yeah, zen, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to no, play zen zen. zen. No, no, of course, of course, not. Um, well, yeah, I suppose it really is. You see people like all across every, every since like the 80s, or since it's been a genre, it's been heavily political. It's always had a part to play, I suppose, yeah. in politics. Like it's the word of, I suppose it's, it's always been the word of people that have something to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a way of like, simply, oh, fairly simply at points, putting forward a word, a, a message, because it's just words, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then you can, the, you know, the artistry comes from that, but it's a very, very always been very prominent in the, I yeah, think I think because it's such a versatile genre, you know, it's sort of like you can ver be versatile with what you, you use as parts of music, like you were yeah. saying in sampling, and you can also be versatile in what you're saying with it. So nowadays you've got like so many different people taking it from its sort of core roots to so many different extremes. It's qu it's quite all encompassing, you know. You can't really. Um, but yeah, throughout, even even locally, it's played a part. Like I would say, like even people, bands like Stanley on Hector and Zach, which are doing friends Loki as well. Yeah, Loki, of course. Yeah, it's, all all it's like crazy political stuff. So very cool. on the ball, like yeah. points being made from them from a sort of a general standpoint of like that every man you don't have to like look for any, dig through any sort of like deep meaning behind the songs that you can. It's just straight up. You're being told what's happening, and it's really. It's, it's getting out to people as well, so it's not a good yeah. thing. Yeah. That's it, it's very important. So as a, it serves a very good point in yeah. that sort of realm. We don't really exercise that too much. No, but in terms of the person, I mean, there were three, three brackets, and people were yeah. making a personal yeah. point always, because you, know, yeah, well, you, you, yeah, you can quote yeah. in as much mythery and wizardry as you want, and it's still, it's still your personal, it's a slice yeah. of you on a, yeah. on a you got, you got, there's a lot more personality that needs to be put into it. It's not necessarily like you've got a great singing voice. It's, like the, it's the world that you create with your words and how you take people on a journey where you want them to go. So you know, it's a lot more of your, I would say, at points, a lot more of your characters put across it because yeah. you've got to say a lot more. Mm -hmm. Right, so when you... You said quite a lot there. Yeah, yeah, that was... Exactly. Oh. So <laughs> when you're not in the fourth dimension, where can people find you online? Ooh, um, yeah, well, you can find, check us out on the Bandcamp, on the SoundCloud, you know, erraticsleepandpatterns.bandcamp. Soundcloud.com uh, slash pithwizardry. Soundcloud.com slash one, two, one, two. Uh, uh, we're YouTube, that. we've got our on YouTube ESP TV. Uh, if you're in Mazda anytime next summer, we're played constantly through big megaphones mm. that are placed yeah. in the city. So the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah, you know we're out there. You can find us yeah, stuff. We are, we are out there, Internet. Indeed. We see you. We're coming for you. You've been warned, you guys. So <laughs> point as well. What's <laughs> next for you guys anyway? Uh, What's next? I audio, don't know. Yeah. audio suit for me. Gig-wise, there's, there's always there's always a few in the diary, peppered about. 
always but, something um, to work. Mu- music wise, we're just still working on this album. Okay. Just working on a cheeky little album. So keep posted <laughs> the internet. They're coming for you. Coming and for you. I've just been told in my imaginary earpiece that we're ready to go at the stage live with Fine Creature. Woo! Bless us. Ciao, Wizzy. Toddy and getting slices of ginger in my mouth so I do excuse it's not my fault <laughs> this next song is burn cold
else you call. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm afraid this is where the evening ends for you. Massive thanks to Carol Bridges, Fine Creature and Erratic Sleeping Patterns for amazing performances and interviews tonight. If you want to keep abreast of what's going on in your city, head to electriccircus.biz or sevenahead.com. But like I said, this is where you go to bed. We're going to keep the party going here with a few more performances. But for me, it's good night. <laughs>